As a warning, methylene chloride is toxic and it is also very volatile. This must only be carried out in a well-ventilated area. Methylene chloride, or dichloromethane or DCM, is a very useful organic solvent. It is not commonly available for purchase, but it can be easily separated from paint stripper. In a future video, I will use this methylene chloride to separate caffeine from tea. I used home hardware brand paint and varnish remover that said that it contained methylene chloride on the side. Most methylene chloride containing strippers are going to be in a gel formula. Next, the 500 milliliters of gel was poured into a 1 liter round bottom flask. I used a stir bar, but if you don't have a stir bar, you can easily use boiling stones or sand as a replacement. I then set up a fractional distillation, but you can probably just as easily get away by using a simple distillation. The varnish remover was then heated using a hot water bath. Methylene chloride boils at 39.6 degrees Celsius, so it's going to be the first fraction that comes off. It is important to note that methylene chloride and methanol form an azeotrope at around 93% DCM and 7% methanol. In my mixture, the second lowest boiling point fraction that would come off is methanol which boils at around 60 degrees Celsius. So by keeping the water bath at about 55 degrees Celsius, you should know the distillation is complete when it ceases to bubble. When the bubbling became very slow and no methylene chloride came over, I stopped the distillation. Methylene chloride is quite volatile, so I placed the collecting flask in an ice bath to limit solvent loss. I carried out two separate runs and received about 260 milliliters of methylene chloride in each. If you're okay with having about 7% methanol in your DCM solution, that's fine and you can stop here. However, I'm going to continue and remove as much methanol as possible. I don't have anything larger than a 250 milliliter separatory funnel, so I did this in 130 milliliter batches. So first, 130 milliliters of DCM was added to the separatory funnel. I washed the methylene chloride layer twice with 75 milliliters of distilled water. If you shake the mixture too vigorously, you might end up with an emulsion which is undesirable. If you do make an emulsion, you'll get a white liquid like this, and it isn't really a problem though. This was then washed with 70 milliliters of saturated sodium chloride solution. If you are lucky, this should more or less break the emulsion, but you should let it sit there for a little bit for the two layers to settle completely. The DCM from both 130 milliliter batches is transferred to a 500 milliliter round bottom. A copious amount of calcium chloride is added to remove any remaining water or methanol from the solution. The DCM was transferred to another round bottom flask and prepared for a simple distillation. In the end, I was left with about 200 milliliters of nearly methanol free dichloromethane. The bottle was then wrapped in aluminum foil to protect it from light. 